Hi, I'm Dr. Robin Deutsch, Associate Medical Director at CHR, and I'm an addiction specialist and primary care doctor. And I'm Kate Batista. I'm an LPC, and I'm the Clinical Program Director of the Enfield Pathways Methadone Program. So Dr. Deutsch, can you tell us a little bit about what harm reduction is? Sure, I'd love to. Harm reduction is a philosophy and a set of strategies to teach people how to reduce the negative consequences of a behavior that they're engaging in that can cause harm. One example is substance use and ways that we can help people to, to do something that may be risky in a safer way. So if we think about harm reduction in a broader sense, we've been practicing some of these things for a very long time. So for example, in our cars, we have airbags and uh, seat belts. And then for fire safety, we have smoke detectors and fire extinguishers. And you know, for at CHR, in addition to substance use, we also do things such as screening for suicide risk. So what are some of the specific harm reduction techniques we can use for clients with substance use issues? Well, there are a couple of main things. One is, is preventing um, overdoses and death. There are a lot of substances, uh, namely fentanyl, that are very dangerous nowadays and the drugs are much more potent than they had been in years past. And the risk of overdose is higher than it ever has been before. Teaching people not to use alone, to have someone on hand who has naloxone and can use that to resuscitate them and reverse an overdose is life-saving. And so making sure that there's someone around who has naloxone and knows how to use it is really key. Another aspect of helping people be safe is to help them prevent infections that may be associated with injection drug use. So as they're using needles or syringes, making sure that their equipment is clean, um, that they're washing their hands, that they're not sharing equipment um, is really key to reduce the transmission of bacterial infections, which could affect the skin, the bloodstream, the heart valves, the bones and joints, and then viral infections like HIV and hepatitis can be transmitted through injection drug use as well. And for those of us that don't have the same medical background as you and, and have more of a clinical role, we can still talk to our clients about things like that, about making sure they clean the area before they inject and, and educating them about needle exchanges and the importance of using clean needles, even if we aren't able to talk to them as much about the details of different infections and, and what, to, what to watch out for. Absolutely. Absolutely. Showing an openness and a lack of judgment when you're having these conversations really goes a long way to build rapport and trust with clients and to help them feel uh, they are in a safe space and giving them dignity and respect empowers them to make responsible and safer decisions about their behaviors. Right. And I've found that if you do approach clients with that exact perspective, you can ask them the most detailed question about their use and they'll give you an answer. They'll give you an honest answer. And that just allows you to build rapport and you know, develop a really strong therapeutic relationship with them. And it only helps them you know, clinically and with the harm reduction aspect. Sure. And part of harm reduction is aiming to reduce barriers so that we're not putting extra um, hoops in the way that patients have to, ju to jump through, trying to have easy access to, to medications and appointments and meeting people where they're at. So if they're not ready for treatment, we still allow them to come in and meet with us and explore options. And even if they're not ready for a treatment, we recommend maybe at some later time they will be. And we've built that trusted relationship so that when they want help, they know where to come. Right. And speaking of those treatments, we're very fortunate here at CHR that we have a lot of different um, medications that we can offer that can really help reduce harm for our clients that are still continuing to use. We have uh, Vivitrol, that's a monthly injection that can be used to help people who struggle with opiate use or alcohol use. We have um, buprenorphine. And then we also have methadone and those two um, are also used for opiate use disorder. So that really helps reducing the harm with, you know, especially that drug you mentioned before, fentanyl, that we're seeing so many overdoses. And so clients that are in treatment with on and on either of those medication assisted treatments, um, that reduces their risk of overdose pretty significantly. That's great. How can staff who might be interested in learning more reach out? They can um, contact, you know, any of us that, you know, work in the different methadone programs or um, any of the prescribers that are familiar with Suboxone. There's also going to be a link at the end of this medical minute with some resources that they can learn more as well. Excellent. Thank you for watching our medical minute.